welcome back to my channel and another how to video. This one is a three part series showing you how to plan, film, and create a 3D map using an iOS app called Copterus and your DJI drone. This app currently does not work with the Mini 2 or Air 2S until DJI released their new SDK. So for this series of videos, I will be using the Mavic Mini. You can download Copterus from the App Store on an iPad or iPhone, and once downloaded, simply open the app. When the app opens, it takes you to your current location. For this series of videos, we are going to create a 3D map of a local castle to me, Farnham Castle. In the app, locate the area that you want to fly and create a 3D map of. Click the three lines at the bottom of the screen and select New Mission. The app will then place a blue box in the center of the screen. This will be the start of the mission area. Once happy with the center point of your mission, click create here. Give the mission a name. This one I will call Barnum Castle. Click survey grid and then create. The blue box has now changed and has four white circles at the corner, four plus icons between these and a point of interest arrow in the center. Drag the four corners to roughly outline the area you want to capture. You will notice that as you drag, additional plus icons appear. We will use these shortly to fine tune the map. Now using these plus icons, drag the entire outline of the mission to capture the full area you want to map. When you are happy with the mapping area, click the tick in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can select the altitude you want to fly at. For this mission, I am flying at 60 meters. Although in some cases, it can be worth flying at multiple altitudes to capture multiple pictures. Now we can fine tune the flight even more. Click the settings icon at the bottom of the screen. Change the grid to a double grid. This ensures the drone makes two passes over the area when it's flying and capturing photos. You can also set the speed the drone will fly, but I leave this in auto. Change the overlap values front and side to your desired values. I tend to use 80%. This ensures a good coverage of photos will be taken. All the time at the top of the screen, you will see the flight details, such as the size of the area, flight duration, the number of batteries needed, as well as the number of photos the mission will take. Next, we will change the survey direction. Again, this is personal preference, but I like to have it so it will cover as much area as possible. You can also change the gimbal angle. I'll leave it here at 90 degrees for a good straight down view. You can also select how the drone will fly to the start point of the mission. Auto, or you can fly it yourself. Again, I use auto. Finally, choose if you want JPEG or raw images taken where the drone has the capability of doing this. You can also see a 3D version of your flight plan by clicking the 3D icon. Other options on the right are the type of map shown with the layer icon. You can also see the weather in the area with the weather icon. The flight mission will remain in the app, but you can also save it to a file for downloading or using elsewhere. Click the spanner icon and then save to file. Select where the file is to be saved and click done. When you've finished planning, you can either connect the drone there and then and fly the mission or click the X icon to return to the main app screen. Should you wish to review or edit the mission, you can either locate the mission on the map itself and click open, or by clicking the three line icon at the bottom of the screen, selecting missions list and selecting it from there. I hope you found this part one useful. Part two will follow shortly, so why not subscribe to my channel now so you'll be notified when it is published. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.